Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and finally the circle to search feature is here on the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro models so let me show you what you can do with this new cool feature. Let me start by showing you how to get this feature on your Pixel 8 and 8 Pro models. First, make sure your Google Play services are up to date by going to settings, security and the privacy, system and updates, Google Play system updates, and you need to make sure you are on January 2024. If you are not, you can check for updates manually and follow the on-screen instructions. Secondly, make sure that your Google app is up to date under Google Play Store and to confirm that you got the feature, head over to the app info page, scroll all the way down and you should see CTS in the version number or circle to search and that means you have all the software needed to get it up and running. But even after doing all of this, sometimes the feature doesn't get activated on the phone immediately and it takes even more time to get it on your phone. If you want to speed up the process, I have a simple trick for you. Just download any free VPN from Google Play Store. And in my case, I'm using a VPN called India VPN. And I connected myself to a server in the US. After a couple of hours, I found the feature already available on my Pixel 8 Pro. Now let's talk about how to use Circle to Search. First, if you are using the gesture navigation, all you need to do is to tap and hold on the navigation bar at the bottom for a couple of seconds. You will get the Google search bar at the bottom with the same options as usual. And then you can use one of the three gestures, either to circle, like the name suggests. You can also use the tap gesture. And finally, you can scribble like this. And all three gestures will do the same thing. And if you are using the three buttons navigation, just tap and hold on the home button. And if you activated the feature by mistake, we usually tap on an empty space on the screen to quit, but in this case, it will initiate a search. So if you want to quit the circle search, simply swipe up one more time on the navigation bar or give another tap to the home button in the three buttons navigation. So what are the best use cases for this feature? It's simply a Google Lens search but in an easier way. And the best use case I found is when you play a video because you don't have any shortcut for Google Lens while playing videos and your only way to do that is to take a screenshot and then start Google Lens. But now when you do the gesture it will pause the video and then you can circle on whatever you see on the screen. On top of this you have the ability to get advantage of the multi search feature which means if, I'm, if I want to search for the S24 Ultra in a different color, I can add this to my search like this and it will get me the modified results. Secondly, it will make your life a lot easier in copying text. So for example, if I want to copy the title of this video inside the YouTube app, I don't have the option, but because I own a pixel, I can go to the recent apps screen, tap and hold on the text and then do my selection. And then I can make the search, share it or copy it. But if I want to copy the text within this image, I cannot do this because it will allow me to copy the whole image or I can simply take it to Google Lens first to be able to copy the text within the image. But now with the circle search, it's much easier. So for example, when I activate the feature, now I can immediately copy the text from within the thumbnail without the need to go in any other app and it will immediately show me the search results or give me the option to translate the text and the same applies to any text you see on the screen. I can even copy the text written on my t-shirt as simple as this. And as expected from Google Lens, you can use it with anything like recipes, landmarks, electronics, clothes, or whatever you want. But if your phone doesn't support this feature, you are not missing out a lot because you can activate Google Lens in pretty much everywhere, especially if you are using a Pixel phone. So for example, you have the Lens button over here inside Google Photos. You can start Google Assistant and you will see search screen over here even inside google chrome when you open any image you have the lens icon so you are not missing a lot but this feature will give you better animations and fewer steps to achieve the same thing last but not least let me show you how to activate or deactivate circle to search just head over to settings then system then navigation mode and then tap the gear icon next to whatever navigation mode you have and you will see hold handle to search 
And when you go to the three buttons navigation, you have hold home to search. So here's my final conclusion about circle to search and it will mainly give you three advantages. The first one is the ability to use it anywhere throughout the OS and it's more reliable than the Google Lens shortcuts. So for example, when I trigger Google Assistant on my home screen, I don't have the option to trigger Google Lens, but when I open a photo, it does give me the option. But with the circle to search, you can trigger Google Lens wherever you want. Secondly, it requires less steps to achieve the same thing. And third, it will give you a very nice animation and haptic feedback every time you make a selection. So you can see here, when I select text, it will give this glowing animation plus a haptic feedback every time I select a word. So it looks really nice. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my review for the circle to search feature on the Pixel 8 and the 8 Pro models. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.